Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Haven't been on for a couple of days. I got a new grandbaby that was born early yesterday morning. Uh, because of the coronavirus, they are not allowing any visitors um, and to limit people going into the hospital. Only the daddy could go in only once and once he left he was not allowed to return hopefully today my daughter and my new granddaughter will be able to go home this is my sixth grandchild yeah what a joyous moment the last few days have been very hectic as you can expect but i have been watching and um doing some research and updating my maps um but i just there's just too much activity to, to do videos. But today, before she comes home, um, I'm back to work. Yesterday, at about 4.08 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there was a magnitude 4.5 earthquake off the coast of Pistol River, Oregon. This was in the Gorda Plate. Yeah, it was a strike-slip earthquake, um, evidently. It's looking like um, some of these strike-slip earthquakes, which are unusual in the Gorda Plate, have been reactivated. And as I've talked about before, the Gorda Plate is a section of the Juan de Fuca Fault Zone. It's been divided up into three sections. we got the uh, um, Juan de Fuca Plate, the Explorer Plate up north here, and then the Gorda Plate. The Gorda Plate is being compressed and twisted. And in my last video, I talked about how it was uh, moving east. But because it's being crushed, um, coming from the south and the Pacific Plate on the west and the uh, Juan de Fuca Plate uh, right next to it, um, it's got this twisting, crushing motion, kind of like a twisting of a tornado as it moves east. Because of this crushing, twisting motion, the Gorda Plate has some deformities. And this earthquake was right along one of the lines of the deformity of the Gorda Plate. See that right there, how it's being pushed towards the east? And there's other sections of this plate that have been deformed. Now, as this plate um, moves east, it is subducting under the Cascadia um, subduction zone, the North American plate. You can see that right there. This red line is the Cascadia fault zone. Eight people reported feeling this earthquake, but on the felt reports, I only could find seven of those reports. Two of the felt reports, um, that one's Brookings, and then this one was Brookings, uh, Eureka, um, we got here, Forland, and there was one response way up here by Salem, which is unusual. Let's see if I can get it to, to work. There we go. Salem. So I must be missing one of the felt reports that I don't see on here. Yeah. Here's an image of the moment tensor ball. Um, yeah, it was a left a lateral, I believe, left lateral uh, movement of the fault. You can see that there. Over on the right here, you can see where we have new land being formed, um, the spreading. So we got the crushing that's going towards the uh, North American plate, the Cascadia fault zone. And yeah, we got the uh, left lateral on the uh, Blanco transform fault zone, the Juan de Fuca uh, fault zone. We also got spreading, and it too is moving towards the Cascadia subduction zone. And then we got the Explorer plate, which is one of the, the smaller ones, and that too is moving towards the uh, Cascadia fault zone and the North American plate. Interesting and a little concerning that these ancient fault zones um, in the middle of the Gorda Plate have been reactivated. Yeah, there's probably going to be more, more earthquakes. Near this same location last year of October the 28th, 
there was a magnitude 5.2, which USGS downgraded to a 4.9. And it too was along this zone of being deformed. See that? The first initial wave of the earthquake came from the south. Tension was applied going east. And that's why we got three reports coming from the Brookings area. Um, not everyone bothers to fill out a felt report, so I'm sure there was more people in Brookings that did feel it. Um, very insignificant, they probably thought. So I'm asking you, those of you in this location, if you felt this earthquake, uh, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, and thank you for your well wishes for the new grandbaby. Uh, please stay safe. Don't forget this is just an indication um, that a large earthquake, which is overdue for the Cascadia subduction zone, can happen at any time. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.